Raspberry Pi 5 might replace desktop PCs. 30 years ago, I firmly believed in ever more powerful desktop PCs. 20 years ago, I discovered a rising power of PC laptops that was slowly replacing desktops in the offices. Though a desktop PC with a much more powerful graphics was still a better and a cheaper option for a home computer, new mini PCs were even cheaper. They lacked powerful graphics, but they had more than enough power. In 2014 one of my co-workers showed me his Raspberry Pi that he had very enthusiastically turned into a video player. But at a time, a multimedia PCs with large hard disks and faster graphics seemed a much better option despite their noisy ventilators. However, first Raspberry Pis were still impressing because of their small size and an SD card that replaced a hard disk or an SSD drive. I couldn't resist temptation and about a year later I bought myself a brand new Raspberry Pi up, which sadly ended up on a shelf in my closet. COVID-19 era forced children and students to home schooling and the others to work from their homes, while some use smartphones. I deemed my Raspberry Pi up with a proper monitor, a mouse, and a keyboard and loads of free software as a better option. It is true that a new PC would have been much faster, but Raspberry Pi was a computer that I had already had and was just fast enough for internet access, teleconferencing, as a Microsoft Office 365 client and of course for watching IPTV and YouTube videos. What else could be expected from a little computer? Speed. I could have bought a Raspberry Pi up with a larger RAM, but Raspberry Pi up with a much faster 4-core ARM processor and 4GB of RAM was definitely much faster for teleconferencing, watching IPTV, YouTube videos and also programming in visual integrated development environments like Lazarus. Raspberry Pi operating systems. As Raspberry Pis become more powerful, their RAMs grew up to 8 gigabytes and their micro SD cards exceeded 64 gigabytes. 64 bit operating systems were the only way to go. Though first 64 bit versions of operating systems were unable to run all applications of their 32 bit cousins, replacement 64 bit applications were almost always available. COVID 19 era also got us operating systems images with Princeton application packages like LibreOffice, Scratch 3, and Mathematica. Speaking of operating systems, it is hard to favor just one of them, because almost each of them is better at performing certain tasks than the others. Kali Linux, for instance, is an excellent hacking tool, but lacks graphics performance to play high-resolution videos. Raspberry Pi operating system, on the other hand, is good at graphics, but require manual compiling and an installation of hacking tools. Compared to Kali Linux, it also lacks safety. What about Android? It is definitely the best Raspberry Pi native operating system for playing smartphone games and it may even run faster than Android emulators running on a PC. It can also run many banking applications that do not run on a PC. However, Android also requires a good graphics accelerator, which Raspberry Pi 4 lacks. Though Raspberry Ub is still very efficient at running desktop and applications, it lacks performance for applications like FIFA 2023. There is also no shortage of new and even experimental Android operation system versions compilations for Raspberry Pis, so Android is here to stay and we may only look forward to a Raspberry Pi of that is expected to arrive later this year or in the first half of 2024. Raspberry Pi 5 will have a more powerful processor and might also include graphics accelerator. The first version should also have 8GB of RAM that latter versions would double and quadruple. It is also speculated that Raspberry Pi 5 might also enable installation of SU SATA or PCI XBus. Is it safer than a PC? All Raspberry Pi variants are based on open software and on a partially open hardware architecture. A fully opened architecture requires electrical schematics to be publicly available, but for Raspberry Pis 123 and for only simplified schematics are available. Hardware and software programming models still seem to be complete, so each piece of an operating system source code may be examined for potential security holes and vulnerabilities and later repaired and recompiled by a skilled programmer. That's why there are fewer security packages for Linux which also includes basic security features like a firewall. Linux machines are usually deemed safer than Microsoft Windows machines by computer security experts for a number of reasons. Windows is the easiest to use and the most widespread operating system that is only rivaled by Google's Android which is basically a version of Linux. Because Microsoft Windows is the most widespread and popular operating system it is no strange that most malicious computer code has been written for it. So many security holes and vulnerabilities are discovered every few months that a constant flow of upgrades is needed for Windows operating system as well as for the most popular applications. Constant automatic upgrades of operating system and applications upgrades pose a security risk of themselves. If a hacker somehow manages to trick software to accept a fake automatic upgrade with malicious code attached, 
he or she may instantly gain access to a Windows computer. Hardware security holes and vulnerabilities have also been discovered in hardware, the newer generations of processors with X and X architecture. Home Office. First Raspberry Pis were not intended to run LibreOffice applications, which is not surprising because 1GB of RAM is an absolute minimum to run LibreOffice applications. On the other hand, 4GB or more RAM is enough not only for LibreOffice. LibreOffice is functionally similar to Microsoft Office. Write enables writing text, and it is even partially compatible with Microsoft Word. Calc is comparable to Microsoft Excel. Draw has similar functionality to Microsoft Paint and can also do simple graphics. Impress resembles Microsoft PowerPoint and Base is similar to Microsoft Access and makes building simple database applications with graphics user interfaces almost too easy. Is there anything missing? The LibreOffice might look and feel like Microsoft Office at first glance it still lacks sophistication and the LibreOffice text, spreadsheets and presentations may be easy to open and edit in Microsoft Office. The same is not always true for LibreOffice. For example, Complex graphics elements embedded in a text document may not be presented or positioned correctly. E-banking applications, Raspberry Pi up with Android operating system and Google Play application can also run most of banking applications intended for smartphones and tablets with installed Android operating system. However, some applications require additional sensors like GPS, biometric fingerprint scanner, tilt sensors, and others that could have only been added to a Raspberry Pi of as external or add-on modules. Most e-banking applications have moved to Android, not only because it is safer but also because most of us never part with our smartphones. Entertainment. Though most of realistic computer games run on PCs with Intel and AMD architectures, the number of Android computer games is quickly catching up as power of graphics processors in smartphone chips is steadily increasing. The number of games for Debian, Raspberry Pi OS, Ubuntu and other Linuxes will probably remain low until ARM architectures enter mainstream PC market and are enabled to unleash full power of the fastest graphics cards. But Raspberry Pis and other micro PCs are still excellent at playing video and streaming IPTV channels. There is also a variety of remote controllers and free software to turn a Raspberry Pi into an IPTV box. Computer programming. Linux wouldn't be a full-fledged Unix-like operating system without program compilers and linkers capable of rebuilding its core and device drivers. Of course, there are also programming libraries and tools that a skilled programmer may use for building user-friendly applications with graphical user interfaces. But less experienced programmers prefer easier ways for making such applications, similar to those in Microsoft Windows. Scratch 3 makes it easy to learn basic computer programming techniques, which include computer graphics, computer sound and even controlling simple robots. The latter requires installing special plugins or installing a Lazarus integrated development environment that resembles Delphi and Microsoft Visual Studio is fascinating not only because it can be installed on a Raspberry Pi 3 or 4, but also because it is designed to be used across different operating systems and hardware platforms. But unlike Visual Studio, it is based on Pascal programming language. A beginner may still find it difficult to use certain functionalities like serial communications that are not included in the initial set of Lazarus components, though additional components can be downloaded from the internet. Many of them require recompiling of Lazarus core. Another such a popular integrated development environment is MinoDevelop that supports C, F, Visual Basic, Net, and Vala programming languages. It can be installed on Ubuntu, Debian, and Raspberry Pi OS. By the way, if you are installing MinoDevelop on 64-bit Raspberry Pi OS 11, use Debian 10 script. Arduino integrated development environment is popular with hardware developers and its look and feel is the same across operating systems and hardware platforms. I use Arduino with this plugin for programming ISP and ISP modules, though compiling and linking ISP code may be faster with a desktop PC. A Raspberry Pi 4 is also more than fast enough. Programming an ESP module though is quite a different story while a Raspberry Pi has serial port accessible though GND, TXT and RXT pins of its 40-pin extension connector. Newer PC with Intel or AMD architecture requires a USB to serial adapter. Arduino integrated development environment is popular with hardware developers and its look and feel is the same across operating systems and hardware platforms. I use Arduino with this plugin for programming ISP and ISP modules. Though compiling and linking ISP code may be faster with a desktop PC, a Raspberry Pi 4 is also more than fast enough. Programming an ESP module though is quite a different story while Raspberry Pi has a serial port accessible though GND, to extend RXT pins of its 40-pin extension connector. Newer PCs with Intel or AMD architecture require a USB to serial adapter. However, you can still use such an adapter on Raspberry Pi 2, if you prefer.
Hacking tools. Kali Linux encompasses a comprehensive collection of hacking tools and it is certainly an excellent tool for penetration testing for security engineers and an almost indispensable hacking tool for hackers. Kali Linux runs on various hardware architectures, but you already have a desktop PC with Windows you can either run Kali Linux in a virtual machine or use Raspberry Pi 3 or 4 to run it directly on hardware, which is usually safer and more reliable. Raspberry Pi 5 is coming. Long-awaited Raspberry Pi 5 might be a turning point in Raspberry Pi development. Will it follow the footsteps of Banana Pi and not only add a more capable layer and core, but also a much more powerful graphics and a fast solid-state drive? It is hard to predict whether these would be enough to successfully compete with Intel architecture mini PCs, but there are many other ARM mini PC designs that can be quickly developed into much more powerful workstations should their manufacturers decide to do so. Though ARM-based Banana Pi mini PC already have some of these functionalities, they lack Raspberry Pi software compatibility and popularity. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe buttons if you like the video. See you in the next video.